After the mineral wealth of the Mackenzie Valley had been secured through the signing of Treaty 11, the influx of outsiders into the north increased dramatically. In those days, the people hardly get sick, but it was in night, the summer of 1928, and the flu came in by steamboat, the distributor. It was about almost a week after the boat left that they started to get sick. There was no doctor in Fort McPherson at the time, so in that way, the flu really clean up on the old people. I don't exactly remember how many died in Fort McPherson, but I think it was about 50, I would say, within a week. Towards the end, they were dying too fast, and they, it's just few, few people were able to dig grave. They used to dig grave for about oh six people, one one big grave. So we slaughtered them that we had to bury without coffin. Like say, put two coffins on each end, and then put the ones with no coffin in the middle, and then put lumber on them and then put buried them that way.